Google just released Gemini 2.0 experimental model, which is probably the first multi-model model that support both image understanding and generation. You can upload the image and give it a prompt, but the model will respond back not just text, but also a generated image. And we're already seeing loads of wild examples from people where you can send an image of model and image of clothes and ask it to combine into a new image. And you can even upload an image like this and ask it to extract the passport photo of one of the person in the image in a high fidelity manner. And it even have a capability to generate multiple images in a row so that it can almost generate different frames within an animation or GIF. And overall, the image quality seems really promising. But most importantly, this experimental model is available via the API. And as we know, Gemini models cost is extremely cheap compared with OpenAI and Cloud, which is around 96% cheaper than the GPT-40 model. And we already seen people building some really interesting applications, like an AI native Photoshop, where users can just upload image and just chat to the AI and ask it to update image for it. Or a GIF maker where you can ask Gemini to generate multiple frames of a animation and put them together a GIF. And those are just the beginning. That's why today I want to show you how can you utilize Gemini model to building some truly interesting use case. And the example I will take you through is how did I use Gemini 2.0 experimental model and also connect to one 2.0, which is one most powerful image to video model that can generate really high quality videos based on image so that we can build some sort of commercial products for e-commerce site to chat to Gemini to generate a product shot that they are happy with and then use 12.1 to generate quick product shots. Without further ado, let's get it. Firstly, let's test out how good Gemini 2.0 experiment model actually is. So they do provide a few example use case and prompt. Some of them is like image editing where you can upload a image croissant and ask it to add in some chocolate toppings as well as this visual story generator that you can ask Gemini to generate an actual story with the image for each scene. But I also want to try out some use case myself. For example, I can upload this image and tell it to change the flag behind the man to USA flag. Awesome. So you can see the result is actually extremely good. Even though when you look into details, some detail of the face does change a little bit, but it is majority the same. It is able to change just that specific flag. And I can also give another try. I will upload a sketch and I will give prompt, make this sketch into 3D rendered colorful style. And it will be doing a pretty good job. And I can continue prompt it, change the hair color to be red and make him smile. Okay, so this part does look a bit weird. I'll change it back and then say, don't change the face a lot, but make him smile. Okay, so this time it does look better. Cool. I found that normally it does really high quality image generation at first shot. And the more turns you have in this chat, lower the quality will be. And in the end, I also really want to try the GIF use case. So generate five frames of GIF in a 2D pixel games of a dragon monster. Cool. So this looks really awesome, except the last two image does look a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure I can just change the prompt and make it consistent. And you can pretty easily build an application that just putting them together into a GIF generator. So here is enough test, but overall what I found is that it does really good job in terms of image generation and keep the character consistent across different images. But it performed less good when the conversation became longer. Basically, the more you prompt it, the worse performance it gets. But overall, really impressive. And I can totally see how this enables more people to be able to do image editing jobs. And very likely, people can build a new type of Photoshop or Canva experience with those real multi-model model capabilities. But the most interesting thing is Let's try to use Gemini 2.0 API to create some prototypes. So I just opened up a new project cursor and let's first say add a .env file to store the Gemini API key here. And you can get API key on Google AI Studio. And let's create a Gemini experimental.py file. And firstly, import a few libraries we're going to use and then create a Gemini client. And then I'll create a user prompt message. So this is the type that you will use to create a message history in Gemini. And I'll pass this conversation history to the Gemini 2.0 model, where the config here is saying the response modality should be both text and image. And we can probably expect this to extend to audio and video later. And in the end, depends on what type of response it return, if the text will print out text, but if the image will save this image file. So let's give it a try. I will do Python Gemini experimental.py. All right, so you can see that it generate an image of a cat here. 
So this is how you can get Gemini 2.0 to generate image. But what if you want to pass an image response uh, into Gemini as well? Well, what you can do is inside the parts here, you can also add a type stop part from byte and data equal to pass lib dot pass generated image dot png read bytes and mine type equal to image png and this should get the uh, cat image we have here and then we can update the prompt to make this cat hair like red color and let's try again cool you can see the cat's hair color turn into red color so this is how you can utilize gemini model to both read the image and also generate image and next, let's learn how can we turn this image into a video using one 2.1 model. So we're gonna use this one 2.1 model host on Replicate. If you don't know what Replicate is, Replicate is like the model marketplace where they have tons of latest AI models across image generation, video generation, and large language model itself. You can either use those existing models directly, or you can fine tune your own model with fairly limited amount of data set required and have a cloud service that you can call anytime. So after you create a Replicate account, we can just click on this model they're gonna use, which is one 2.1. 480p and we can click on API page and select Python and I will firstly add replicate token to my .env file here and then I will create a new one 12.1 and I can just copy this code example here the only difference is that here it is using a image URL but we actually want to read a image from the local disk so I will turn this into a function where it can open a local image pass on to this specific replicate model and save the video here. And I can test it by running this function. Using this cat photo that we generated and give a prompt cat is looking around. If you haven't installed Replicate yet, making sure to do the pip install Replicate and then we can run the script. Cool. So you can see this is a five seconds video generated. So we have both endpoint working. The last thing we want to do is we'll create a quick web application using Streamlit that can simulate the whole chat experience. So I firstly create a general function for general response from Gemini. We're able to detect if it is first message that user try to send. If it is, then we'll attach the image the user uploaded as part of account as well as a prompt and append messages and generate to return the response. Meanwhile, I will also turn the replicate model calling into this generate video function where it will try to call the replicate model and return the video pass when it's ready and also a help function to reset the video state. I will also create a utility.py which has a bunch of utility functions like save the binary file, process upload image, and check if the image are duplicated. And in the end, I will use Streamlit to quickly build the GUI. And if you don't know what a Streamlit is, it is a Python framework that allows you to quickly build a user interface and spin up a web app that you can share with others. So I will create an app.py, importing all the packages and library that we have, set a title, and we will also define a list of state to keep track of what kind of message has been sent, what image the user has uploaded, as well as the image Gemini return and videos when 2.1 return. Then we will put the title, define a sidebar where users can upload the list of images and we'll display the list of image and update state, and then create two tabs. With the tab one will be the chat experience where users can chat to Gemini to iterate the image. And we'll have some logic here to display the chat history as well as logic after users click send messages. And second tab for the video generation. So all the images that Gemini return will be displayed for the user here for them to select. And they can basically select image that they want to generate the video. And once the video is generated, we will display the video here on the screen. And once it's finished, I can quickly do streamlit run app.py. And you can see here we have a web app that is ready to use. I can upload some image. I can prompt it generate product shot of hand wearing the bracelet. You can see here it generates a pretty good image of a man wearing this bracelet. And I can also prompt it to say change the hand to be a black man's head. And now it generates a new image with a black man's hand. So you can see that users can use this chat interface to keep iterating the product shop. And if I go to video generation, there are two images that I can use to generate the video. So I will select the second one, give a prompt a product shot at showcasing the bracelet. Now get video generated. So this is how you can build a example product using Gemini 2.0 API. If you want to get more in depth about how to use this API and step-by-step -step process of rebuild the exact example I showcase here, you can join the AI Builder Club community and building, where I share tips and tricks of building AI applications and vibe coding every week. And for people who join right now, you can also get $100 free replicate credits, limited to 1,000 AI Builder Club members.
Plus, you have this community of top AI builders who are launching their own AI products right now. So you can come and post any question that challenge you have, where me and other sources jump on and share our learnings. I have put the link in the description below for you to join. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.